Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the body of Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus rex is the most widely known dinosaur, and also the most fascinating of all dinosaurs, possessing the most impressive strengths. The appearance of Tyrannosaurus rex has actually changed a lot in recent years, thanks to people's continuous research on them. More recent reconstructions of Tyrannosaurus rex have a bigger belly, a thicker neck, and a complex keratinous structure on the head. While many details about Tyrannosaurus rex are still under debate, for example, whether it had scales on the snout, whether it had lips, or whether it had feathers, people do have a deep understanding of them. First, use dotted lines to determine the proportions of the various parts of the body of Tyrannosaurus rex. It had a large head, a short neck, a round body, strong hind limbs, and a long tail that stretched far away. Now, let's start with the mouth of Tyrannosaurus rex. First, draw its upper jaw. Its upper jaw was somewhat curved, and the lower jaw fit with the upper jaw. Next, move on to its teeth. The teeth on the premaxilla were relatively small, and the teeth on the maxilla can be arranged as a big one next to a small one and so on. The teeth on the lower jaw are also smaller at the front and larger at the back. Next, move on to its tongue, which was close to bottom of the oral cavity. Then, complete its strong lower jaw, with well-developed muscles at the back, Let's draw the nose of Tyrannosaurus rex with a keratinous bump above. Next, draw its antipodal fenestra. Above the antipodal fenestra was the lacrimal horn. Further back was the well-developed keratinous structure above its eyes. Its eyes were quite round. There were large scales behind its eyes. Such large scales also appeared on its face and lower jaw.
Behind its eyes, draw temporal fenestry, above which was a structure composed of thick plates. Finally, complete the top of the head and draw its ear openings. The neck of Tyrannosaurus rex consisted of several groups of muscles. At the top, there was a group of muscles responsible for lifting the head. Below it was a group of triangular muscles. There was a group of strong muscles on each side of the neck. And the lower part of the neck was a loose throat. Tyrannosaurus rex had a rotund body and let's outline its back and chest first. Tyrannosaurus rex had very short forelimbs and long and strong hindlimbs. Its upper legs were relatively short, and its knees were roughly parallel to the lower belly. It had a long and thick tail. Next, let's add some details. Draw the shoulder blades covered in muscles. Draw some folds at the base of the upper arms. Shade the side of the belly to make it look big. Draw a lot of folds on the skin between the upper legs and the body. Shade the bottom of the belly and the inner sides of the limbs. Draw large keratinous sheaves on the back of the toes. Draw thick muscles on the sides of the tail.
and large scales around its mouth. Add some folds on the sides of the neck. Finally, add some rib marks on the side of the body. Now, we've completed the body of Tyrannosaurus Rex.